Hey guys, a long time no see. Like, leave it to me to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this like every week and then like just stop. But I'm back. It's been kind of a like difficult few weeks, uh, honestly, culminating into this most difficult one. This one like has been like really emotionally draining for me. Just a lot of mixed emotions, just a lot of things happening. And then it like ending in this thing kind of that's happening, not to me at all, but um, pretty much uh, this YouTuber that I really liked, if you don't know, like ask somebody, but like Trisha Paytas and Ethan, they have a podcast. I was like a huge fan of it. And basically it's all over now. Uh, if you ask me, pretty much at the fault of Trisha, which is like really unfortunate because I feel like she had had this amazing transformation. I think both of them actually like really grew uh, from this podcast. Uh, I mean, they're, they were both a little bit problematic. Trisha, in my opinion, a little more problematic. But, um, pretty much, I'm just kind of sad and tired of stuff, like, ending and going away. We all had a lot of that, you know, during 2020, like, just stuff ending and stopping and going away. And, like, this kind of, like, was, like, something nice that came out of, like, all of that mess. But, um, unfortunately, I think due to her narcissism and, um her mental issues, unfortunately. She's kind of like throwing like the only good friends she had like out, like the only like, and double unfortunate because now she's like gonna be married into the family soon. Uh, and like, it's just like affecting me more than I like want it to. And like this drama is all happening, like literally like right now she like, just uploaded another video responding to his video which he didn't want to put a video up because he wanted to keep it like offline but she posted a bunch of stuff and she's basically just saying like how like he's very wrong but honestly she's extremely um like hypocritical like she'll say one thing like in a negative light and then say the same thing in a positive light and it's just like kind of manipulative and I don't I don't know if she's doing that on purpose uh I don't think she's doing it on purpose unfortunately I think sometimes you could be manipulative and not even realize you're doing it um and so uh I kind of had to like take in a back like like I had to just stop looking at uh, all of these videos because they're like, you know, 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long about just drama and two people not understanding each other and like disagreeing and then like the narcissism. <clears throat> and um, honestly, kind of a bit triggering. Um, so like, that was like a lot of negative, like a lot of negative energy. And if you kind of don't know them, like the one of the good things that they did with their podcast is that they kind of took to task people that needed canceling, like Shane Dawson and um, ugh, what's his name? My sisters, I forgot. Um, um anyways, uh, and it's kind of ironic like the visuals and like the kind of like the signs that were there that this was gonna end in this way because they always said that like when they ordered dominoes it was bad luck um and basically they ordered dominoes like the fucking show ended um another thing he was like dressed as like fester 
from Adam's family. And so that like another famous like walk, like she's walked out on him like three times in this whole like sh running of the show. And like, to be honest, it never, it didn't really start off like good. They weren't like, they started off like kind of on really, really bad terms. Like, I mean, the podcast is called Frenemies. They started off like pretty much as like, you know, Ethan kind of making fun of like her looks and her weight and how uh, slutty she was. And um, she basically, you know, came out of the defense saying how lazy fat he was and like how horrible everyone on the podcast was and basically like calling his wife uh you know the c word and um so from that it's like okay well of course this is bound to happen but it really seemed like they were like really starting to get along kind of like brother sister vibe um she ended up like uh dating his um brother-in-law and so now it and to the point where um she's engaged with him and so now it's just kind of in the air, like it, like you know, it's one thing that she wanted to be off the show, but it's almost she uploaded two videos, part one and part two, called Ethan's Lies. And I mean, when you kind of just outright call somebody a liar, and you don't like sit with them, talk to them, and you know try to figure at least that part out, you're burning bridges. And this time she's burning like bridges of people that she should consider family. Um, but uh, it doesn't seem like she really cares about that right now. Um, Ethan is pretty much an expected father right now of either twins or triplets. Uh, and um, I'm sure this is like really, really difficult right now on that pregnancy too. Um, pretty much like Trisha has a lot of responsibility to pretty much Trisha like needs to just take a lot of responsibility of this say there's a lot of there's a lot of misunderstandings in that none of them were like perfect rather than trying to just like completely burn this bridge down because I mean Eden has been kind of the only nice person I wouldn't say like exactly nice I would say rational person to like care about her. I think Ethan is extremely rational. I think Ethan can, I mean, he's had like crazy points before, but like, I really think if you sat down with him, he's the kind of person that you could sit down and like talk to actually, and like try to get them to understand your point of view. I don't think Trisha is that, that way. I think she's very narcissistic. I think she has like a really certain way of thinking and doesn't understand other people's point of views and that's very problematic and I think it's landed her in hot water before and it's landed her in hot water right now. Um, pretty much uh, it's really unfortunate because I just know like everybody knows that like all of their enemies are just like they're like eating popcorn watching this like go down like there's just like a lot of that energy I feel these people that they've canceled they're gonna come back because I think one other thing that we've kind of discovered in 2021 is that you can't really cancel anybody like you can cancel somebody and then they'll go away unless like they did something like actual actually heinous like illegal and you could prove it and it's like, you know, that's obviously when someone should be culturally canceled as well as like uh, put in jail. Um, you know, some people feel like, oh, his name, James Charles. Uh, some people feel like James Charles should be like put in jail for what he's been or like, you know, at least for, you know, a few months, a year, whatever, whatever a court would decide. But like, it seems like he's just gonna be coming back. Like, it seems like Shane Dawson is just gonna be coming back. And now with like this kind of crumbling, it's almost like, well, yeah, you could have never trusted them. They couldn't even have like a YouTube channel that like lasted. And it's just, it really, really sucks because it paints Trisha 
in such a bad light because I think Ethan is being reasonable. They're like, like, he is, he seems to be a very reasonable person compared to Trish. And I mean, I wasn't his fan to start with. I started watching the podcast because of Trish. Uh, I was a fan of hers before, very problematic, in a very problematic way. But like, I don't, I don't understand where she's coming from. And unfortunately, I think uh, it's pretty much just she's having some mental health issues, even though she kind of says that she is, but then she's not. And... You know, it's kind of all over the place about that. Um, I don't, like, there has been no word about Moses, who's the fiancé, and Ethan's brother-in-law. And, uh, I just wonder, you know, because aside, you know, aside from the show, like, you know, like, all this YouTube stuff, like, you know, you could, like, burn your bridges on YouTube and say, I'm never going to work with somebody such and such again. Like, it doesn't work. This sh doing the show doesn't work. Us working together doesn't work. But, like, being able to, like, see each other, like, through the holidays or at weddings and stuff like that. Like, that's, like, a whole nother thing. And I think everyone's main issue right now is that she's burning that down. Which is not good. Doesn't it doesn't paint you in a good light? Doesn't it doesn't it shows that like you can't separate those two things in a healthy way? And maybe for her it was never separated. I don't know. Uh, it's just unfortunate because now all of those people are coming back. It's been such a fucking hard week for me, and now this shit has been blowing up in my face. So I'm gonna try to stay away from like looking at it and you know, harboring that negativity, but, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'm going to be uploading more often, you know, I'm just going to throw this one up, and, uh, I'm going to see you guys soon, bye!